Okay, so calculate the Gibbs free energy for this reaction, which is a magnesium react with aluminum to uh, synthesize, right, to, perf to, to form the magnesium and aluminum. So looking at this reaction, you will find that magnesium is reduced, right? It gains electrons. So the magnesium here is cathode. And here, aluminum is losing electron. It's reducing agent, so it's an anode. So for this reaction, right, it's a redox reaction. So we can write down the uh, reduction uh, pairs, right? So in this reaction, it involves two reduction pairs. One is from magnesium to magne magnesium, two plus, right, to magnesium. If you check on the table, right, you can find the reduction potential is minus 2.37 volts. And another one is aluminum. Uh, check on the table. The reduction potential of aluminum is minus 1.66. So for this reaction, right, the reaction of the cell equals to react the potential, right? The potential of the cell equals to the potential of the cathode minus the potential of the anode. So it's minus 2.37 minus minus 0.166. So you get minus 0.71 volts. From here, we can calculate the Gibbs free energy. That's equal to uh, minus sign, the potential of the reaction times the charge, total charge that is transferred. So just plug in, right? For the total charge that is transferred, right? That equals to the electron transferred times the a Fardy constant. So looking at this reaction, right, two aluminum becomes two aluminum three plus. Six electron was transferred. So here it's six, right, times Fardy constant, nine, six, four, eight, five. And then you get the answer, which is 411.0261. And that's it.